Tucked on the shore of Colville Lake, just south of the tree line in the Northwest Territories, you'll find a Canadian first. The Dene community here is pioneering a hybrid power plant poised to reduce its reliance on diesel dramatically. The only way to get fuel to the community is trucking it hundreds of kilometres over the ice road each winter. The new system could reduce that need by 40 percent. The smell of diesel from the old generators that used to linger over town is gone, and so is the noise. We barely hear the power plant. We don't even know if it's running or not. The system is made up of solar arrays, diesel generators and batteries. A perfect fit for a community that's fought to preserve its traditional way of life. It wasn't until the early 1990s people here got electricity in their homes. we got to start moving away from having those long supply lines and having... You know, solar panels does that. Well, right now we have solar power. When the sun is shining, solar energy powers the town. Any extra energy is stored in the battery bank, with diesel generators as backup, necessary during the dark winter months. And it's pretty quiet right now, which means the town is being powered off solar energy. She's quiet as a bell. The newfound silence has Elvin Orlius thinking about the future. If it ever came down to it that we had a fuel shortage, we'd be depending on straight solar. You know, the way, the way things are going, maybe in the future we can actually stop using fossil fuels. Power providers from Alaska, Norway and Finland are all keenly watching the nearly $8 million system. It could also be a solution for other remote communities in Canada. Tremendous interest there and, and a lot of uh, you know, desire to actually even come here and visit and, and look at our plant. As the community heads into the season of the midnight sun, 24-hour daylight, the town is expected to run on solar energy almost exclusively until the darkness returns in the fall. Kate Kyle, CBC News, Colville Lake, Northwest Territories.